Hi guys, it has been a hot minute, maybe too long of a hot minute, but I know it's been a while since I've been posting keyboard videos. It's mostly because of how time consuming it can be to even make one video. I have a lot of process that goes with every video that I make. Making videos is so fun. It just takes so much brain juice and commitment. It's fun. For me, it's like a hobby. So when a hobby turns into a, a job, it, it just isn't fun anymore. So I guess I would say I felt a little bit burnt out making videos. And I don't know why I have been putting this keyboard aside because I think I wanted to use the other one so bad and I think I neglected this one. So this video is going to be about me kind of zhuzhing up my keyboard back again, bringing it back to life. Because can we just look at the state that it is in right now? It's not attractive. There's a lot of dust. The key switches are scattered. The keycaps, I don't know whether they're missing. <laughs> yeah, I want to take you along with me and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, stop right there because my cat needs water. So please enjoy this cat ASMR. Also, while we wait for my cat to finish, here's a Stab 101 tidbit for you newbies out there. Stabs as in stabilizers. FYI, there are two ways to mount stabs. You can mount it either on your plate or PCB. Generally speaking, there are three types to look out for. Screw-in stabs are more sought after and has a stable, secure mount. It's commonly found in custom builds, but you have to make sure your PCB has the proper holes to support it. Snap-in stabs are a second popular choice for custom builds. They aren't as common, but work as effective as a screw-in stab, although they might have a tendency to pop out when taking off keycaps. Plate mount stabs are mostly found in pre-built keyboards. They have a flat underside. They do have a rattle, but with some modding, that would easily go away. Anyways, let's get to switches. These are called strawberry jelly switches. What's weird is that they don't have the name of the manufacturing on the key switch, but they're really cute. Their name is adorable and delicious sounding. Strawberry jelly, are you kidding me? That's the most cutest name I've ever heard, strawberry jelly. They are getting really creative with all these names. Disclaimer, key switches are not to be eaten, although their names are enticing enough for one to try. Food names is purely a creative element for engagement. By the way, do you know there are so many key switches named after food nowadays? It's crazy. For instance, we have kiwi switch, tangerine, fruit smoothie, matcha latte, blueberry, banana split, marshmallow, blue jelly, blackberry, Oreo. The list goes on and on. It's getting out of hand, but I love it. Enough with key switch talk. Let's get to key capping. We got new key cap. Now, the thing with essay key caps, they're a lot more bulbous, chunkier, bulkier. They're like the bigger brother of the keycap family. They're very high profile. Oh my gosh. I really like the color. I love orange and black together. It's beautiful. 
to show it to you, but I'm scared I might make it fall. Oh my gosh, imagine if these were chocolates. If someone gave me keycap shaped chocolates, I'll marry that person. <laughs> Hello, this is Shazina speaking. Yes, we've got a crisis here. I'm talking to a keyboard. <laughs> all right, here is the final outcome. All all the things I've done, I've done it on a Revion 41 and it is possible. Trust me, it looks like a remote, but it's actually a butterfly in disguise. Revion 41 deserves more love. I don't know why I love this keyboard. I have so many memories on this keyboard. I remember using it through my uni years and I just... Having this keyboard is a challenge and it shows that you have to be really committed to a 41%. The small butterfly-like shape of the Revion makes it unique and I love how it just stands out from the rest of my keyboards. If you want a video about VIA or how to set up VIA on your 40% keyboard, Feel free to comment down below because I would love to make that video. Also, if any one of you out there has a 40% keyboard, please comment down below. It's nice to know that there are some people out there who love small keyboards as much as I do. Anyways, that should be all for my video. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one. Bye!